All right. In class, we spoke about variables or data types that are used to allocate memory to store a value. And in this video, we're going to talk about a special type of variable called an array. On the right, I drew my memory. So the variables we talked about so far, like an unsigned 8-bit variable, x, where you can assign a value of 1 to it, gets stored in memory, and it gets one memory location, and the value 1 can be put in that memory location. And remember, it's an 8-bit variable, so it could be between 0 and 255. If we want multiple memory locations, we can do something like this, where we create five variables, each with a different name, x, xx, xxx, xxxx, and xxx, xx. And again, each one of these variables gets its own memory location. Now this works perfectly fine, but often we want to refer to the memory that we've allocated in one big chunk by the same name. So here we've created a variable called x that is an array that has five memory locations. The memory locations are in the range from 0 to 4, and each one of these gets their own memory chunk. There is no x5. There's x0 through x4. 5, when you declare it, indicates the number of positions. There's five positions, range 0 to 4. So when you declare the variable, you could also assign values, and the values are assigned from element 0 through element 4 using these squiggly brackets, and they're comma separated. And upon declaration, the memory is filled in with the values that you've initialized the array with. This could also be done like this where you, you declare the variable as we have before, us8 variable x of size 5, and then you assign a value to each element in the array. This takes a lot more space, as you can see, or a lot more lines. Effectively, as a program, it's identical to the above. 